Hi guys, I'm Ken, the Boring Fisherman. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if this is your first time. I uh, I haven't uploaded in a while. I've been uh, kind of dealing with the move and everything. Uh, I don't know. It's it's been like 60 days or something since I've uploaded, and uh, I'm having a difficult time finding time to edit the rest of my road trip video. I have it all on my phone, but uh, I'm just having difficulty finding the time to do it with with moving and unpacking and, and having my kid going to work and you know you know how it is. Anyway, that, that's enough complaining about that. Uh, I'm not going to edit this video at all. Uh, it's just going to go on raw, so you're getting the raw the raw deal. Uh, I just got off work. Friday. I still got to work tomorrow. I'm going to the store. Uh, I do a little bit of customer service here at my new job. Uh, I'm not going to try to point it out to you or anything because I'm driving truck vlog. But uh, I work for a company now called Outer Banks Boat Harbor, and I'm and it's a company that that uh, works on boats and trailers, and I'm working in the trailer shop doing you know, wheel bearings and axles and springs and all that fun stuff. It's pretty cool. I've learned a lot. I've got to put some of my skills to use and and uh, I got my toolbox there and I'm getting to use my tools for stuff. And that's that's real cool. It's it's been a long time since I've been able to you know get into my toolbox at work and and uh, you know, use a tool that, that I picked out or, or a tool that was passed down to me from my grandpa or my dad or someone else like uh, Les. Uh, Les, you're probably not going to watch this because I don't think you watch my stuff, but if you do, I used your auto center punch yesterday. Uh, anyway, so that's pretty cool. Uh, got a house now. It's not really a house. It's a manufactured home in a park. It's a little two-bedroom, but it's enough for me and the wife and the kiddo and the dogs. I uh, had a hell of a time finding housing down here. Of course, these cars are spread out just far enough. Anyway, I had a hell of a time finding a place once I got down here. Uh, it was over a month before I found a place. And then I had to wait until the beginning of the following month before I could move into it. Uh, so that's... I'm sure it's like that everywhere. Uh, I know for a fact back home in Tillamook it's like that. I mean, there's six, eight month waiting lists back there and there's you know, hardly any vacancies here. And the vacancies that there are is more than, more than I want to pay a month. Uh, that being said, I'm here. Uh, I don't know if you've been following me on any of my other social medias. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram and Fishbrain now, but still getting used to the Fishbrain thing. Uh, when I got to North Carolina in May, I'd only been here for a couple of days, and one of the neighbors at my daughter's house decided to park their Kia Soul on top of my Harley. And Harley had it for like two months. And then finally after that, they told me, yeah, we're probably gonna total it because it's got frame damage. But they ended up replacing the rear subframe and rebuilding the bike. And I finally got it back. It probably wasn't two months, but it was. It sure felt like two months. I don't know, it's the end of August now. It probably was two months because I've only had the bike back couple of weeks, I don't know, three, four weeks. But I've got it back. It's all rebuilt on a new, new subframe. It's got new crash bars, new floorboards, new exhaust, new saddlebags. They replaced a whole bunch of stuff on that bike, several thousand dollars worth of stuff. But I'm happy to have it back. I would be on the bike today, being as how nice the weather is. I'm sure you can see out my window here that we've got some pretty nice weather. Uh, it's in the 80s today. It finally cooled down into the 80s. But uh, one of my co-workers gave me some furniture that I needed for the house, so I took the truck to get it from him. And 
If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be filming a truck vlog today. But, uh, anyway, with that, I've, I've been out fishing a couple of times with one of my co-workers who's become a good friend of mine now. His name's Terry. He's a real cool guy. Uh, but I've only been fishing out with him twice. And I haven't had the cameras with me because I'm not sure. I, I'm kind of weird about, you know, filming on somebody else's boat or doing any of that because, you know, you never know how it's going to end up with somebody new. Now, at this point, you know, I've known Terry for long enough and we spent enough time together that I don't think he'd give, I don't, I don't think he'd care if I set the camera up on the boat while we were out trolling some Spanish or whatever. So the next next opportunity I get, I'm going to go ahead and bring my camera mount. I get my camera mount out of the aluminum well, which, uh, just to clarify that, it's a broomstick with a uh, handbar mount on it. But it works for me. We're used to, and I'm sure it'll work again. So I haven't done any, any fishing content. I haven't even been fishing in a couple of weeks. I got my fishing license for out here, and I've been a couple times. But I haven't filmed any of it, just, you know, I've had my kid, and, and uh, I just haven't put the effort into my YouTube, and I, I would like to change that, because I kind of miss, you know, uh, you guys. Really, I miss you guys. I miss putting up a video and having you guys comment, and uh, tell me what you like or don't like, or or uh, telling me a different way, or, or whatever it is, you know, I, I miss that. I miss miss the interaction I have with you guys and so I'm going to start putting more effort into trying to do more uh, more videos so I'm going across the bridge right now and I'm looking at all the lures stuck in the power lines over here there's a guy on that side in a boat throwing a gas net and the parking area on both ends of this bridge is just full of cars and there's, there's people fishing, that's cool. There's another guy over here throwing a net. I probably should pay attention to the road. There's another guy in the water over there. It's it's really cool out here, there's tons of water. It's, it's not like back home where there's bays and stuff. No, this, this intercoastal waterway that we have over here, I think I'm saying that right, is, I mean, it's, it's like there's freeways and highways, and side roads, I mean, there's just, thousands of miles of waterway out here. It's, it's awesome. I, I miss having my boat. I, I really wish I had my old loom weld out here because man, there's just so much, so much water, so much new fishing to learn. It'll happen. It'll happen. And, uh, you know, even if that doesn't happen, you know, I just had, I don't know, I think it was five weeks off of work between jobs, something like that, five weeks, four weeks, between jobs, I think it was something like that, four weeks, five weeks, where I was just on the motorcycle. You know, we went to Vegas for my dad's wedding, I did Bullhead City Bike Week, we went to uh, Open Arizona's Bike Week, got to ride around. Uh, we went up 395. That is a really awesome road, US 395. I just love riding that section down in California. I came to the realization today that I miss riding my motorcycle in California. As much as I dislike California, I miss riding my motorcycle in it. But that's neither here nor there, because now I got the whole, the whole East Coast to figure out. I know I also like riding through the Appalachians. That's beautiful country out there in the Appalachians. That uh, Kentucky, Virginia, Tennessee, North Carolina, the mountains over there, you know. I'm on the coast of North Carolina and the other end of North Carolina's mountains. And uh, that is some beautiful country. To include riding Tail of the Dragon, because I rode my Harley on Tail of the Dragon. That's really cool. That's definitely not a beginner's road. So if you're a motorcyclist watching my channel, Tell of the Dragon is not for the beginners. 
you know you gotta you gotta have a little bit of experience for that one I, I don't think that you need to buy a motorcycle get your license the next day and then the third day going right tail of the dragon I don't think that's a good idea you know I've been riding for oh I don't know over a decade on the road now and probably 20 years or better I've been riding motorcycles and uh, that road road turned my stomach a little bit I mean that was that was a really cool piece of road to ride 300 318 curves in 11 miles man and I did that I left Nashville that morning and then rode the tail of the dragon so you know I was doing it halfway through the day on a weekday Anyway. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I'm going to start uploading again so you won't miss any of my new uploads. Go ahead and hit that bell icon for notifications while you're at it. Give this video a thumbs up if you've made it all the way to the end or if you just skipped to the end, either way. And uh, thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.